Okay, welcome everybody. I am going to call this meeting to order at 2.20 p.m. on January 18th, the Senior Advisory Committee 2023, I should state. Um, I'm going to roll call Committee Member Gilfix. Here. Committee Member Gonzalez. Committee Member Huey. Here. Committee Member Nichols. Here. Committee member Sinha present and committee member Times present. Okay, our first um, item is to approve the minutes. If I can get a motion to approve the minutes from the November 16, 2022 meeting. So moved. Okay, I got Jim. Elna, you're still um, muted, but I got Jim. And do I have a second? Second. A second. Thank you. I got Vicky for that. Can I get a vote to approve the minutes? Can everyone? Uh, I thank you. I think Elna, you're muted. You're, I think you're saying I ish. I see your hand raised. Elna, if you just there we go. There we go. I yes. Okay, thank you. The motion Aye. passes. Perfect. I for me as well. Thank you. I got that. Okay. Oral communications from the public. I don't see anyone viewing, so we have none at this moment. And that moves us to item number five, election. We will be the election of the 2023 chair and vice chair. So the committee will nominate a chair to lead the meetings for the 2023 calendar year and a vice chair to act in the chair's absence. You can either elect yourselves or elect someone on the committee. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna nominate myself, but I, I nominate Deanne. For chair, vice chair? For chair. Okay, we have a nomination for Deanne for chair. Are there any other nominations for chair? I'll volunteer to be vice chair. Okay, Elna, Deanne, Elna, Deanne. <laughs> Thanks, Vicki. <laughs> we'll help, we'll help. Does everyone, any other nominations? If not, I will make, um, can someone please make a motion to approve move, the nomination? Move to, close, move to close the nominations. Thank you, Jim. Is there a second? A second. Thank you, yeah, I second. I second. Thank you. Okay, can we please get a vote to nominate Vicki, or I'm sorry, Deanne as the yeah. chair and Elna as the vice chair for the 2023 calendar year? All in favor? Aye. 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 Ish, thank you. Motion uh, passes. Congratulations, Deanne. I will and and Elna as you. well. I will. Do you have the agenda in front of you, Deanne? I do. Okay, I will. My my job is done. I will hand it off to you, and I'm here to guide you if you need anything. Yeah. Or Elna, please. she's she's okay. been chair yeah, a few times before. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna need your help. Okay, so um, we're moving on to then the um, unfinished business. So first is the communication subcommittee. So is there a um, update from that subcommittee? It looks like that committee is Ish and Kieran. So I just muted Ish, let me unmute him. Ish, do you have an update from the communications? There you go. Um, I have gone down, met many people, and they say that they don't know much about what's happening. And uh, I've, I've met people of all shades, all nationalities, communicated with them. And they said, yes, senior center is there. We, we know about it. But we, knew, we want to know more information. I said, please visit. You'll be welcome there. And Ashley is doing a great job. She's always there to help everyone. So go and visit her. And second point which came out from the younger crowd is, and sadly, the older crowd is, they are very really lonely. Now, I had a suggestion 
that we should have a friendly visitors program where seniors of different nationalities visit their own people from their own or otherwise also these people could it could be a very successful program because the many people old people who are homebound they don't even get an opportunity of interacting with anyone and their loneliness increases it affects their mental health also so i wish we consider having this a visitors program in which volunteers can go communicate with them and then the older people will definitely feel happy and likewise for youngsters there are a lot of youngsters here now they feel very lonely some of them have come from different countries they miss their homes i have interacted with many and i find they feel very happy talking to me because they see a father figure in me and then they interact they open out their hearts they say what difficulties they are having in this country loneliness is one of the things which does affect people and can lead to alzheimer so i think we should look in that direction also of a program called friendly visitors program something of the sort you know the people got to be vetted and i think it will go a long way in having better communication with all shades of people all nationalities to understand the difficulty people generally don't open out in the first meeting you have some are some do speak others are very shy and then also to apprise them of all the good work the mountain view city council is doing and volunteers are doing a great job here it's better right that's my submission okay thank you ish all right now is the senior center um subcommittee do we have an update from that group so it looks like that is vicky myrna and oh wait no vicky myrna yes yes vicky and myrna oh Narna is no longer with us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um although we, we do get to change our committee this time around uh for this coming year um we haven't i haven't done much with the senior center subcommittee at all my my bad but i'm in, busy in other areas so okay um, I don't have a report all right Thank you. And then um, the last subcommittee is the senior survey subcommittee, which I know is um, me. We have an update. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know. Did you and I, I, I hope you have an update? I'm um, on that group with you and Jim. <laughs> um, my contact on this John Sink of Benitez. I'm often paid for a survey from a member um they have results but in um the holidays that mean they haven't had a chance to really to to, to look over the result and and put together a report to their management or their board of trustees um i had hoped to get hold of john this morning i am sorry i just got too involved with too many other things and phone calls this morning and didn't reach him um they, they have said that they will gas the results which include they have mountain residents um as soon as are ready to present to their board um probably in time in the next month um i will email a summary of results as soon as i get them to to members of our day um i mean in the entire act um and they should be coming they update probably the information mountain be put together in 2018 to 2019 um that i don't know if or this would reprint so i will to you as as i get them from john um john that i have nothing to say are redoing that survey when in fact the results have been delivered of anitas and we're going to hear from anitas So this is it on the topic unless people have questions and have something else to talk about. Are there questions? Great. Thank you. 
All right. Um, there's no new business. So then we're going to move on to the um, staff comments and questions. I think that's for the senior center update. That's me. Ashley. Okay, so for January, um, lovely member, uh, excuse me, Vice Chair Times um, did a presentation at the Senior Center on Alzheimer's, which I heard was a very successful uh, workshop. We also had a UC Master Gardener here who did a workshop on proper rose care. And then this week and next week, we have back-to-back -back workshops from the Tele California Telephone Access Program. A lot of people know it by CTAP. Um, Pre-pandemic, we used to have these workshops quarterly, and they teach seniors either how to use an Android or an iPhone, depending on their device. So always, I mean, very they only allow very small groups, 8 and 10, um, but very happy to be bringing these back. So the Android one is this Thursday, and then the iPhone one is next Thursday. So very happy to bring those back. Um, and then next month, before our next SAC meeting, Saturday, February 11th, the Senior Center will be bringing back our pancake breakfast. Um, tickets are on sale now. We're already in the 40s. Um, tickets sold $5 a person. So if you'd like to come Saturday, February 11th, please come get a ticket. We'd love to have you there. Anthony has some piano players scheduled. We're going to have pancakes, eggs, fruit, um, coffee. Um, so it should be sausage. Um, really looking forward to bringing that back. It's the one thing, one event that Senior Center hosts on a weekend, and it's a breakfast, which we never have. So very exciting to have that back here. Um, I can say that I have noticed quite an increase in our workshop numbers. Um, Anthony's been doing an amazing job bringing in new workshops that we haven't had in a while. Um, a lot more people seem comfortable being out. So we're seeing a majority of our workshops in double digits. So happy to see those numbers increasing. Um, are there any questions for me about the Senior Center for January? Um, February? Yeah. Yes, Ashley, are we getting calls at the Senior Center from any seniors around the city that are having difficulty or inquiring about how to be able to get to the center through the uh, transportation routes that we have? We do receive those questions occasionally, but we, due to the age-friendly task force completing the um, activity, what are those things called? The cert, what are those? Resource guides, there's the word. Um, we do have transportation options that we are able to share with them. Um, we have our free Google shuttle, which is great. We also have VTA and Roadrunners. Um, so plenty of options for seniors to get here. But now uh, I wouldn't say it's like a regular phone call, but occasionally we get that question. Well, yeah, I just wanted to know that if we are getting that, those inquiries that we're responding as promptly as we can. Oh, absolutely. We have answers for organized around the city to make sure that uh, the, 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 uh, the transportation groups are are getting into the areas where the seniors are Absolutely. so that they're able to have that access on their street or somehow to get to the senior center or other other services in the city. Absolutely. Yep. We've got okay. we've got resources um, for them. Thank you. Yes, may I add here, I add here that transportation is one topic that shows up in purposes. Um, for almost every one of these groups in the city. And while they can't guarantee door-to-door -door service, um, they do the transportation group on the city to make every <clears throat> effort to reach the system. So um, behind some of the Google route instance, yeah. um, that behind uh, the pickup routes for other things like that to make sure that they, they can reach the seniors who need them. In fact, we do a okay. job of that in San Jose does. Well, I've, I've brought this up before. My, my concern is that these organizations in the city are, are keeping abreast of the uh, movements of the seniors or the aging of the seniors within the city 
that there are neighborhoods that are increasing their ages and aren't being accessed or considered for access. That's been my concern, is to encourage them to keep abreast of how those changes are occurring in the city. Jim, that's our responsibility, is to tell um, people in the city of these senior, um, these move, collections, if you will, of seniors, uh, perhaps new collections of seniors. Um, they don't go out and survey every year where the seniors are. So that might be something that we do um, on an annual basis with the State of non Seniors Report in terms of telling people where there's concentrations. Um, I don't know that uh, we will be doing the State of Mountain View Seniors Report this year, but um, it is something that we should be considering. Yep. Thank you. Sure. All right. And then, so then the last thing is then the um, round table. If there's anything any of you would like to bring up during the round table. Me, me, opportunity. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alma. <laughs> um, as of today, there will be a benefit dinner plus concert featuring the wildly popular international singing group Il Volo um, on February 18th in the hot auditorium at the Peter History Museum from 6.30 to 9.30. It is a benefit for the adult care center in, in this day plus a small selection of groups like SourceWise and Hust. Um, and I hope um, the senior uh, groups like the Mountain View SAC and the um, senior group at the let's see, Sarita Area Senior Center. Um, I, at this point, guarantee how much money will be made, but it is a benefit. Again, the tickets are $100 a piece. Um, the, if you your female teacher know she will probably sub immediately. Um, it is a very popular group. Um, I just managed to sign as of the thing. Um, and um, as I said, it's a benefit. Um, ticket information will be available in about a week and you can buy tickets through Eventbrite. Um, this will be an opportunity to earn a little bit of money for the SAC and for other senior service groups around the South Bay. So keep it in your memory. Um, most of the money that is raised by ticket sales will go directly to these organizations. So about it, be aware of the fact there will be something coming out soon, probably in the next week. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? Uh, just before we adjourn, I want to remind everyone that our next meeting will be in person at the Senior Center. So February 15th, third Wednesday of the month, 2 p.m. Senior Center, no Zoom. It will be so nice to see everyone in person. Yeah. Excellent. And I will, I will reiterate that in all of my communication, but just so it's here as well. Excellent. Great. All right. Okay. So can I have someone to move to adjourn the meeting? Oh, Dean, well, you can just oh, no. adjourn. Oh, yeah. I can. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no motion for adjournment. So you just oh, time I and just, I just called the time. All right. So yep. the meeting um, is now ending at 2 39 p.m. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Right, thank you. Congratulations, thank you. Ian and Elna. We'll thank see you. you next week. Thank you, all of you. All Bye. Right, I'll see you next month. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Stay healthy.